प्लीज स्टैंड Lord, open my lips and my, and my mouth, mouth shall declare your, your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let Come us worship Christ, Christ the, shepherd the shepherd of the flock. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let Come us let worship, worship Christ, Christ chief shepherd of, of the flock. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ chief, chief shepherd of the flock. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, the shepherd of the flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the shepherd of the flock. Please be seated. Dawn finds me ready to welcome you, my God. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise, for he has become my Savior. I will sing to the Lord, for his glorious triumphant, Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. The Lord is a warrior. Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he hurled into the sea. At the breath of your anger, the waters piled up. The following waters stood like a mound. The flood waters concealed in the midst of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them. I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall despoil them. When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like lead, they sank in the mighty waters. Who is like to you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like to you, magnificent in holiness? But terrible in no renown, worker of wonders, when you stretch out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your mercy, you led the people you redeemed. In your strength, you guided them to your holy dwelling. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your rest, O Lord. The sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands establish, the Lord shall reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O praise the Lord, all you nations. 
O praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, O people of Zion who dwell in Jerusalem, no more will you weep. He will be gracious to you when you cry out. As soon as he hears, he will answer you. The Lord will give you the bread you need and the water for which you thirst. No longer will your teacher hide himself, but with your own eyes you shall see your teacher. While from behind a voice shall sound in your ears, this is the way, walk in it, when you would turn to the right or to the left. He will give rain for the seed that you sow in the ground, and the wheat that the soil produces will be rich and abundant. On that day, your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in spacious meadows. The oxen and the asses that till the ground will eat silage tossed to them with shovel and pitchfork. Upon every high mountain and lofty hill, there will be streams of running water. On the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, the light of the moon will be like that of the sun, and the light of the sun will be seven times greater like the light of seven days. On the day the Lord binds up the wounds of his people, he will heal the bruises left by his blows. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Praise the Lord, for He is good. Sing praise to our God, for He is gracious. It is fitting to praise Him. The Lord reveals Jerusalem, and disperse of Israel He gathers. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He tells the number of the stars. He calls each by name. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. To his wisdom there is no limit. The Lord sustains the lowly, the wicked he casts to the ground. Blessed are all who wait for the Lord. Please stand. our judge, our lawgiver, our king. He it is who will save us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the, member, the master of the harvest 
to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. Then Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out the demons. Without cause you have received, so without cause you are to give. May dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa mga taong nauuhaw, isa lang ang hiling, ang uminom. This is the scenario in today's gospel. Following the usual routine of Jesus, He visits other places, the towns and villages. And one day, in accordance with the gospel today, he noticed something from the crowds. Meron po siyang nakita. Nakita niya mga tao, uhaw. Uhaw sa salita ng Diyos. Uhaw na uhaw. At sabi ko nga po kanina, sa mga taong uhaw, isa lang ang hiling, isa lang ang sinasabi, isa lang ang sinisigaw. Ang uminom, makainom. Kaya nga naman, kapag tayo nakakita ng mga taong uhaw, isa lang dap dapat ang ating gagawin, ang bigyan ng maiinom. Of course, it's all about longing for the words, longing for the teachings of Jesus, and longing for our faith. Ito yung eksena ng ating Ibanghelyo. And that is why Jesus relate this gospel, this need, While talking to his twelve apostles, kinausap niya ang kanyang mga tagasunod. May kailangan gawin. At isa lang ang kailangan sa ngayon. Ayon sa kwento na ating Ibanghelyo, kinakailangan nila ng mga taong magbibigay sa kanila ng satisfaction for this longing. Kinakailangan nila ng mga apostoles. And that is why I would like to remind all of us about this apostolic role of the Catholic Church. The apostolic role of our church, our own apostolic mission bilang kasapi ng simbahan. Kung titignan po natin sa ating pananampalataya, we believe in the church. We express our faith to this Catholic Church. Kaya nga ayon sa ating pananampalataya as we proceed, as we make our profession of faith, the church as is holy, as Catholic, and apostolic. Anong ibig sabihin nito? The church as holy, Catholic, holy, ibig sabihin banal, Catholic, ibig sabihin universal. What about apostolic? Anong ibig sabihin nitong pangatlong character of the church? It's all about this apostolic mission. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka lang kaisa. Hindi ka lang participant. Ikaw ay kasama mismo sa misyon. Parang itong banal na misa, hindi ka lang nakikinig. Dapat kayo kaisa sa pagdiriwang na banal na misa. Kapag misyon ang pinag-uusapan, hindi lang tayo tagapanood. Dapat katulad ng mga apostoles, tayo mismo ay kaisa sa misyon. Parang ganito yan eh, sa bukasyon natin. Kung nung una, kayo ay tinawag, ngayon, kayo na rin ang tatawag. Kung nung una, kayo ay nakinabang, ngayon, kayo na rin uli ang tatawag upang ibahagi ang mga biyayang ito. Kung nung una, kayo ay gumaling. Ngayon naman, kayo ang magpapagaling. Kung nung una, tayo ay uminom. Ngayon naman, tayo ay magpapainom 
sa kapwa. Kung nung una tayo ay nakikinig at narinig natin ang mga wika ng Diyos, ngayon tayo naman dapat ang magsasalita at magbabahagi ng mga wika ng Diyos. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng apostolic mission. The church as holy, catholic, and apostolic. At ito ang paalala sa ating lahat. Tatandaan natin mga kapatid, sa pamamagitan ng sakramento ng binyag, we share in this apostolic mission of Jesus. Kaisa po tayo sa kanyang mission. At ito ay nangangahulugan na tayo din ay kaisa sa pagbabahagi ng mga wika ng Panginoon. Kaya isang magandang paalala sa atin, kumusta ba ang buhay natin bilang katoliko. Sabi nga po, dapat banal. Dapat kaisa ng simbahang katolika at kaisa sa misyon ng ating simbahan. Kumusta ba ang ating mga wika? Kumusta ba ang ating mga pananalita? Kumusta ba ang salita ng Diyos sa buhay mo? Nitong panahon ng Adviento, Pinapaalala muli sa atin ang kapistahan ng pagiging tao ng ating Panginoong Diyos na kung saan ang Diyos Ama ay naging tao at kaisa natin. At mismo kanyang pagiging tao ang nagsisimbolo ng pagiging kaisa niya sa atin bilang isang simbahan. Pinapaalala muli sa atin ito Bukas, pangalawang linggo na nga ng Adviento. Kumusta ba ang pagpapaalala, ni, pagpapaalala nito sa atin? Kumusta ba ang ating paghihintay? Kumusta ba ang paggugunita ng kapaskuhan ng pagiging tao ng ating Diyos amang nasa langit? Kaya muli po mga kapatid nitong kapistahan ni St. Francis Xavier, Pinapaalala sa atin ang apostolic mission, our apostolic role in the life of the church. Tatandaan natin mismo sa buhay ni St. Francis Xavier, na isa pong hinirang na misyonaryo ng ating banal na simbahan. Kung titignan natin yung kanyang mga wika, ganun din po ang kanyang pinagdaanan. Nung siya pumunta sa India at sa Japan, wala po po siyang ibang ginawa kundi ibahagi, non-stop po, 24-7, ibahagi ang misyon ng simbahan. Sabi nga po niya, wala na siyang panahon kumain. Kahit po sa pagtulog, wala nang panahon. Sapagat nakita niya ang mga tao sa India at sa Japan, uhaw na uhaw ng mabuting balita. That even to the point, sabi nga niya, older children will never give him time to rest. Because they're longing for Him to teach them how to pray. Uhaw na uhaw. At alam ko po sa ating lipunan ngayon, marami ding uhaw. At sana mga kapatid bilang mga katoliko, even in our own simple ways, sa ating mga salita, sa ating gawa, at sa ating mga gagawin, mga desisyon na gagawin, sana po, ito'y kaisa ng pagbibigay tulong sa mga taong uhaw sa salita ng Diyos. Please stand. God the Father has invited us to be His ministers to spread the good news of salvation. We pray for the grace to recognize the dignity of our mission and the necessary strength to carry it out. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the pilgrim church may inspire people to renew their lives by faithful, but faithfully bearing witness to Christ in word and deed. Let us pray to, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That missionaries in foreign lands may be effective in bringing the gospel of salvation to all they meet by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may communicate their faith to their children by the holiness of their life. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the elderly, the handicapped, the lonely, and the brokenhearted may feel the love of Christ through the care of their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those, for our missions and for our brothers, and ministry at Roma Santo Biara Dominicus and Roma Biara Thomas Aquinas in Indonesia, Saint Dominic in Sri Lanka, Saint Antoninus in General Santos, Kamigin and Kalayan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may enjoy everlasting peace in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, guide our faltering steps as we walk on your path. Help us in our struggle. Encourage us in our doubts. Comfort us in our pain. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for good and the good of all His holy truths. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis' Savior, and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands, out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the Gospel, May with our brothers and sisters eagerly hasten towards you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For us on the festival of St. Francis Savior, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Francis, Savior, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Oh, 
Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy they should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. 
it is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has, he has come, come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the, of the house of his servant David. David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and, and to remember his holy covenant. covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you might shall be called, called the prophet, prophet of the Most, of the most High, high for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the, the Father, and to the, Son, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What, what you say of me does not come, come from yourselves. It is, it is the Spirit, Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Let us pray. May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us the fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa nitong ating dawn procession at banal na misa. Patuloy po nating ipanalangin ang bawat isa sa atin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended, we go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now do the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Alalahanin po natin yung may mga sakit sa kanilang mga tahanan at mga mahal sa buhay natin. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, for blessing for all your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, and candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.